Hey there, everyone. Dr. Beth Westy here, and I wanted to talk about the best fat burning meals for females. Um, I do have more information on this on my YouTube channel, which is called Dr. Beth Westy, and my podcast called The Female Health Solution. If you're looking for more resources, um, I also have my books, The Female Fat Solution. This is on Amazon, as well as The Female Menopause Solution, also on Amazon. I do talk more about nutrients specifically in here and give you even more examples on things. Um, But if you're really looking for guidance on this, this is what we do in the 12-week challenge. So I'm going to put a link right here in the comments for you to get on the wait list for the next 12-week challenge. You do not want to miss out um, on this. But when we talk about some of these things, it's important to realize that um, before we just talk about fat burning, see, I put this on here first, females burn fat differently than males do right? Your body physiology matters. Your body physiology matters. Where your hormones are at, where you're at in your cycle, where you're at with perimenopause versus menopause, all those things matter into how your body actually burns fat. Our bodies are not meant to be in fat burning all day long. They just, they don't, they don't do that. It doesn't function like that, right? So to try and force your system to do that or try and force your system to decrease calories, cut nutrients out, all this other stuff, to try and get your body to burn more fat, that, that's not how it works. It's not how it works, right? Right, right. So keep in mind that this is going to be different. And again, if you're wondering, how, do my, how does my body do that? When is the best time of the month to burn more fat? Those are things we do in the 12-week challenge, so get on the wait list there. Um, it's also important that you're addressing your stress, your cortisol levels, your adrenal health, all those things. Again, you can be eating the perfect diet. And if this is you, if you're like, yeah, I'm doing this. I'm eating all these healthy things. and Nothing is changing for me. Mm, how are your adrenals? How are your adrenals? Are they doing okay? Or are they struggling? Because if your adrenals are a hot mess, if you have a lot of stress issues, not going to get anywhere either, right? You're not going to get anywhere either. Your body shuts down your metabolism when that happens. And again, I I have more information and more uh, resources for people. But again, if you're wondering more about this, I can absolutely do more videos on this. Just drop a comment below. Um, Or if you're not comfortable commenting, you can always message me privately. That's all. I always welcome that um, because I hear from women all over the world every single day with questions. Um, So you're not the only one struggling with this, I promise. But it's really important that you address your stress levels and your cortisol levels in order to have this stuff actually work for you. Um, And then make sure you have good gut health. Again, doesn't matter what you eat. You can eat the perfect foods. If your body cannot break down, process, absorb, and metabolize those nutrients, not doing it, not doing it. I had someone actually today describe it. She's like, yeah, it's like you're trying to water a super dry plant and all the water just right through. I was like, that's exactly it. (laughs) That's exactly it. So if you have constipation, bloating, diarrhea, heartburn, things like that, where you're like, yeah, ah, my gut is not good. It's not good. That's not normal. It's not normal to get bloated at the end of every day. I don't care how flat your stomach is at the beginning of the day. It's not normal to get bloated at the end of the day. You need to have good gut health for this to make an impact. So with all that in mind, (laughs) with all that out of the way, Uh, because it sounds exciting. Fat burning meals? Yes. What do I do with this? What's the fancy thing? It's not. You have to get your body functioning better first. And how we do that, one of the biggest foundational things that I teach women is just to get balanced nutrients. Balanced nutrients. This is where it's at. You need enough protein. Women are not getting enough protein. Not getting enough protein. You're not getting enough protein to help build muscle, to help fight off that stress, to help get your gut health moving, to help detoxify your body. You need enough protein to have all these processes happen. When your system's under stress, it needs more protein. When you have a hormone shift and change, you need more protein, more protein than what you were getting to even maintain your muscle tissue. That's how much more protein. Yes. That seems like a lot of protein. It is a lot of protein and you need it (laughs) and it makes a difference. So protein, that's the biggest thing here. Protein, 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 right? And then it's also important to get carb and fat in. Balanced nutrients. This is a huge foundation for overall metabolism and just increasing your thermogenic rate for your system, right? Protein, carbs, and fats together every meal, right? So I just put some examples here because you're going to want to get enough protein have a good amount of carb and have it be balanced carbohydrate 
and then gets fats in, healthy fats. I'm shocked at how little fat women still eat. Yeah, oftentimes we miss the mark there. So protein. Um, so first, breakfast here, you know, just an example, eggs and like peanut butter toast. There, you know, the toast is the carb, peanut butter is the fat, right? But eggs and peanut butter toast. How many eggs? Well, how many eggs do you need to get to your protein goals for the day? Probably more than two. An egg has about six grams of protein. So is it bad? No, to, had to have two eggs? No. And there's a little bit of protein here, but not a lot. This is more of a fat oftentimes. But you need to make sure you're getting enough protein in the morning to kickstart your metabolism for the day. That is, this is the most important time to get protein in is right away in the morning. Absolutely hands down. So that's an example there. Uh, a snack example, uh, cottage cheese and pineapple. Yeah, whole fat, you know, or not fat free cottage cheese either. So there's fat in this. There's 20 grams of protein oftentimes, 22 grams of protein I've seen um, per cup of cottage cheese. And then like pineapple chunks on there. Boom, there you go. And then this is a, a simple carb right there. Oh, that's fruit. You're not supposed to eat fruit. Fruit can make you fat. No, that is not a thing. Sorry, I'm yelling, but I had somebody ask questions about that because they were made to feel shamed because that is what they were told, that they were not making progress on their diet because they were eating fruit, which is garbage information. Okay. Uh, next one here, turkey slices, like almond crackers and guacamole, right? This is actually one of my favorites right here. Just, I take turkey slices and I make them into little small, you know, pieces and I put a little guac and put a turkey slice on top. And it's like a little sandwich, you know, lunch, snack, whatnot, really delicious. And then here's a, a dinner example, chicken, sweet potato, and then using olive oil when you cook greens, broccoli, asparagus, something like that, right? Um, but using that olive oil, that's the fat. Now, this is just a simple example. Now, is this an example of what I eat in a day? Sure. But I eat more than this. I definitely eat more than this, right? I will have a protein shake, a protein bar, all that stuff on top of all of this. That seems like a lot of food. I know, I know. You have to fuel your body and push your metabolism and teach it to work harder for you. The biggest thing for getting your body to burn fat is that you have to feed that fire, not starve it. That's where we go wrong. And again, because the female body burns fat differently, it's important to address all these things and eat for a basic foundation for your metabolism. Otherwise, all the other tactics that you're trying to do aren't going to work. The intermittent fasting, and I teach women how to intermittent fast for your hormones, but it's not going to work if you're not doing this first. Carb cycling, um, any other like cutting out nutrients, all these are like fat burning tactics. They're not going to work if you're not doing this first. This is where it starts. So that is why I wanted to do a video just covering all of this to get you started on this. Now, if you have more questions, let me know. If you feel lost on this information, if you feel like, um, but what about this thing? Do not hesitate to ask. Again, drop a comment down below and I'm more than happy to address these questions because it can sound confusing. Sometimes it seems like this is different than what I just heard or someone said, said this or that. Ah, uh, what do I, what do I do? Right? It's important that we're doing the right thing for your body, your system, right? So again, if you don't know what your stress levels are, that's why we do a Dutch test, check your hormone levels and make sure we are addressing all the things your body needs to get and stay healthier. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. Let me know if you have any other questions. Otherwise, I will see you later.